Today, we're diving into a huge shift happening in the UAE. There's a new e-invoicing system on the horizon, and it's set to completely change how businesses manage their finances. So let's get right into it. So here's the billion dollar question, right? Is your business actually ready for this? Because let me be clear, this is so much more than a simple software update. We're talking about a ground up overhaul of your financial processes, and believe me, the clock is ticking. Okay, first things first, what exactly is this thing? It's called the Electronic Invoicing System, or EIS for short. You can really think of it as the next major step in the UAE's massive push to go digital. At its heart, the EIS is a government-run platform, and its goal is pretty straightforward, but also really powerful, to take the entire journey of an invoice from the moment it's created and sent to when it's received and reported, and move it all into a single, totally digital, secure, and super fast system. And what's in it for you? Well, the benefits are pretty clear. We're talking about faster, way more secure transactions that just automatically line up with the UAE's VAT laws, the whole point is to slash all that paperwork and, maybe most importantly, create a whole new level of transparency for the tax system. All right, that brings us to maybe the most important question for you right now. Who exactly does this apply to? Does your business need to get on board with this? The scope here is, well, it's huge. The short answer is that this mandate applies to pretty much every single business in the UAE. Now, there are a few specific exceptions for the time being, things like international airlines and most B2C transactions. But here's a really interesting twist. Even if your business is exempt, you can still choose to opt in voluntarily. As you can probably guess, a whole new system means a whole new set of rules. And these aren't just guidelines, okay? These are the core requirements that every single business involved has to follow, no exceptions. So let's break down what you have to do. First, you've got to use what's called an accredited service provider or an ASP. Just think of them as the official tech partners that connect your systems to the governments. After that, you've got 14 days to issue an invoice after a transaction, and you have to report it all to the federal tax authority. Oh, and two really critical points. All of your data must be stored right here in the UAE. And if you have any system glitches, you've got just two business days to report them. It's all about being fast and accurate. So when is all this going down? Well, the rollout is happening in phases, which is good news. It means different types of businesses have different deadlines to hit. You really need to know which one is yours. And this is the magic number you need to remember, 50 million dirhams. If your business brings in more than that in annual revenue, you are officially in the very first wave. You're up first. Okay, here's how that timeline looks. It all kicks off with a pilot program in July, 2026. Then the first major deadline hits on January 1st, 2027. That's go live for all those businesses over the 50 million Durham mark. Six months after that, on July 1st, 2027, everyone else who's required to join has to be on board. And finally, government bodies join in by October 1st. It's a step-by-step -step rollout, but you can bet those deadlines are set in stone. You know, it's really important to zoom out and see the big picture here. This whole thing is about so much more than just checking a box for compliance. It's a really critical piece of a much larger vision for the entire UAE economy. And this quote right here just nails it. The ultimate goal is to create a smarter, faster, and more connected way to do business in the UAE. This e-invoicing system, it's a building block for that future, making everything smoother and boosting the whole economy. So when you look at it, this whole e-invoicing mandate is more than just a new rule. It's a massive signal pointing to where everything is heading, which kind of leaves us with one last question to chew on. As our tax systems go fully digital, what's the next core business process that's going to get a complete transformation?